Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to share with you how to create an Easter egg design on your stones. Easter is coming up really soon and I thought it would be what better time to share the um, Ukrainian Easter egg style uh, stone with you. This is one of my favorites. Uh, I did learn how to do the Ukrainian eggs uh, with the wax and actual real eggs and absolutely loved it and thought that I would combine the two um, two of my passions, which is um, creating the egg design on a stone. And the stones are a little less fragile than the eggs, so so this works out a little bit better for me. So we are going to uh, do this design. I am going to change up the colors a little bit. I wanted to go a little bit more springy and eastery, and uh, so we're going to do the same design, but I'm going to change up the colors, and I will post those colors for you if you want to uh, replicate that. So let's get started on this little beauty. Okay, so I've picked my colors. I've got this pretty cotton candy kind of pink, a lavender, yellow, and a lime green, citrusy, citrus green. So those are my color choices. Oh, I'm also going to um, get my white as well because um, we'll need that for some of our detail work. So I have my white here now as well. So what we're gonna do, we don't need a too many um, varying sizes with the tools that we're using today. I have my toothpick, and then I have a couple of the smaller sizes, and that's pretty much all I'm gonna need for, for today for our project. So the first thing that I'm going to do is find my center. So how I do that is I'll take my fabric I'm just going to move this one here. I'm just going to take my fabric measuring here. And I'm going to find my center. And I'm going to measure this way as well. Okay, so I have my center point here now. So my next thing that I'm going to do, I want to create this oval shape that I have here, um, the egg shape. So make sure that as I'm going down um, the edges, it's all perfectly round, and that's how I'm going to help me also find um, that real center point for the mandel in the middle. So what I'm going to use is my Fisker's oval. Um, stencils. I use this a lot. So I'm just going to find, make sure that I have the right, yeah, right size oval and find my center. And these ones are really easy because they have the grid lines here. So I'm going to be able to line those up perfectly with the ones that I have. And I'm going to just create that perfect oval shape. Okay, so now I'm going to take my compass with my pencil and I'm going to create two circles. This is going to help us to create that center design. So I find that when I'm working on a stone that's a bit smaller, it's a little bit easier to turn the stone than it is to turn your compass. So there's one, and your second one isn't going to be quite halfway, it's going to be maybe about a third. Here. A third of the way from your center point. Okay, so as you can see, it's not, not halfway between my outer edge and my center point. It's about a third of the way. And now I'm going to take my ruler. You can actually take anything that's maybe a bit shorter as well to create your straight lines because we want to create these lines um, that we're going to detail. So what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm just going to use a pop, popsicle stick because I think it might be easier for you to see rather than having a large ruler here. 
And what I'm going to do is I want to create these lines that are going to go to that first circle. And so I'm going to use the lines that I used originally with to find my center dot. And now I also want to create the lines in the middle of those. Again, just going to that first circle. There, so you can see we have our center lines there. So this is going to create eight diamond shapes when we're all finished. So now what we're going to do is we want to continue creating this um, these diamond shapes. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually mark here the center point between each of these two wider lines because that's where our diamond point is going to be. And if you need to measure this out, go for it. If not, you can eyeball it out. Uh, it's pretty straightforward once you've kind of got your basic lines done. Okay, so as you can see, they've got those, those um, guidelines there. I'm just gonna use my popsicle stick again and I'm just going from one of those points that I just drew to the line in the, in, that we made to the first circle. You know what you can also use, which might also be a little bit easier when you're working on a curved stone, is the fabric tape. Because we're doing such a small, small line here, this will actually work quite well as well. If you were doing a larger surface, it might not stay quite as straight, but because we're doing such a small space, these will, this will work quite well. And it's a little bit easier when it can curve right to the stone as opposed to the straight edge like the popsicle stick or a ruler. So we're going to go all the way around doing the same thing, creating our diamonds. Okay, so I've gone all the way around and I've created my eight diamonds. Now what we're also going to do is we want to make sure that we're creating these inside lines as well that are going to be white dots that are creating a little bit of detail there. So what we're going to do is we're going in between the triangles that we did from our center point to our first line and we're going to draw a line between those or in between those as you can see and we're going to do that all the way around I'm going to quickly feel free to pause the video until you can get that that template complete. So now we have double our triangles in the in the middle here, but we're still going to keep our eight diamonds. So now we're going to take our white and our toothpick. So whether you have the metal toothpick or um, a wooden toothpick. It's totally fine. And what we're going to do is we're going to do some outlining here. So we're going to outline all of our four diamonds. Actually, the first thing we're going to do is take, take our 
tool that I would say is one size up from, from our toothpick. And we want to create our dots on each of the eight points. And that's going to be just right outside your final circle that you did there. That just helps us have a little bit of a, a guideline. We're also going to create our center our center spot so we know how far we're going to come with these little white line or white dots. So I'm just using um, a stylus that's a good good size for the center. It's certainly not the same size as my um, thumbtack. I will use my thumbtack here as a gauge for a lot of my videos just because then you can kind of have an idea of sizing. So that's my thumbtack. And this is the size of the tool that I'm going to use for that center point. So we're just going to go right in the middle. To create that circle in the center. Okay, so now we're going to take our toothpick. And what we're going to do is we're going to outline our eight diamonds. So this is a dip and dot kind of situation here. We don't want to have descending dots in this. We want them all pretty even all the way around. So what you're going to do is you're going to use your little white dots to get to that um, circle that we created in the middle. And, but you're not going to go further than that at this point because we want to make sure that we're changing our, the direction of our white dots once we get to that point. So we're going to go all the way around to do that. Okay, so I've gone all the way around, so you can see all around my edges, and now we're going to go in to the center from the bottom of these V's. So this is going to create our diamond shapes. We're going to make those dots all the way to the center. And you're going to go all the way around. Okay, so we've gone and we've done all of our um, dots into the center. And now we're going to take um, one of the dotting tools. It's probably about two sizes up from that toothpick. Um, so not quite the smallest size that I have, but the next one up. And we're going to take the white again. And now this time we're going to do a dot where the first circle is, where that first outline is, we're going to do a dot in the center of our diamond on that line where we've created that circle. Just like so. Okay, and then we're going to go back to our toothpick and we're going to create those white lines from that circle that or that dot we just created into our inner circle. And we're going to go all the way in and all the way around. Okay, so I've done all of my outlining for this design here. Um, as far as the diamonds go, I'm going to take my tool that's one size up from my toothpick, the one that I used for the, the top points of the diamond, and I'm also just going to add one more dot that's just a little bit on the outside there, just a little detail.
Okay, so now comes the fun part, the color. So as you can see for this from this one that I have done, um, I just did the um, center mandala all one color, just the pink. Um, but I'm going to change this design up a little bit. What we're going to do, because I have four colors, I'm going to do um, four different colors on one side and four different colors on the other. So there'll be two of each um, color for this one. We're going to make it a little bit more fun and exciting for this one. So how I do this is I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tool that's two sizes up. This would be the one that we created that white dot with here. That's what I'm going to start with. But we're also going to use our toothpick and our smaller, the smaller size of our tool. Um, but we are going to start off with the second size up. We'll start with the pink. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a few big dots in one of the diamonds with this pink. And then we're going to change to our smaller size and we're going to fill in with a few more pink dots. Filling in some of those little gaps. And then I'm going to go to my toothpick, same color. And then we're just going to fill in some of those tiny spaces. Okay, so now I'm going to do it on this side too because that's going to be my opposite side where my pink is. So again, we're doing a few bigger dots. And then I'm going to go drop down a size, fill in with a few more dots. Just until you're to that place where if you keep going, you're going to <laughs> cover up those white dots. We want to refrain from doing that as much as we can. You can always go back and uh, redo the white dot on top if you do get any of the color um, that overlaps on it. But if you can refrain from doing that as much as possible, that's awesome. Okay, so we're going to do that with our next color as well. Clean off our tools, make sure we get the nice and clean for our next color. Okay, so I finished off the yellow and I'm going to move on to my next color doing the exact same thing um, using the same dotting tools.
And I'm going to do the same on the other side. Okay, and purple's done. So now I'm going to do my lime green. And it's a pretty straightforward pattern. It's pretty simple. Uh, once you've kind of got your template, um, it's pretty easy to fill in all of the all of the colors here. It's a nice little spring spring colors. So you're more than welcome to do just the one solid color like this one if that's more your your style or your preference. Just thought I'd experiment a little here with this video and change it up a little bit. So if that's the case, you would just do all of your diamonds the one color, but still doing it in the same technique that we're following here. Making sure that you're not overfilling it, but that you're actually that you're filling it in as much as you can to make sure that that color really pops when we when it all comes together. Okay, so we have our colors for our, the center of our stone complete. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around on the outside edge of our stone. I'm gonna start with the pink, I think, because it looks really nice against the black. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the tool that I used for those white stone or white dots here and the bigger dots in our, in our colors. And that's what I'm going to use for my circles around the edge. So this is pretty straightforward to do. What you're just going to do is you're going to take your color. And for us, we're going to follow the edge of our oval shape. If you don't have the oval stencil, that's no big deal. You can just kind of play around with it and create that oval shape until you get it right. Until it feels like you're happy with it. And then just use that and follow that along. So we're going to go all the way around. Go all the way around our stone. Okay, so I've gone all the way around my stone with the pink. And what we're going to do is we're going to stay with the same size tool. And you can choose whichever color you want to do next. And we're going to... Um, do the exact same thing. We're just going to go into the little valleys between each dot. I think I'm going to stick with the same pattern that I'm using here. So I've got pink, yellow, purple, green. So I'm just going to stick with that same color pattern. And all you're going to do is the exact same thing. We're going to put our dots right in the valleys of the pink ones between each one. And we're going to go all the way around our stone in the same way. Okay, so I've done the yellow. As you can see, it's coming along really nicely now. This is a really quick and easy um, little stone to make. Once you start um, doing a couple of them and you really understand the pattern of it, um, they're really, really great quick little stones to make. So the next color in my pattern is purple. So we're going to do this. And we're also going to follow it up with the green. So I'll be back once I've done those and uh, I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I did my purple. So you can see on the sides here, 
I'm not loving this green though, so I'm actually gonna switch it up to a different green. The wonderful thing about um, working with acrylics is that you can let it dry and you can cover it up. It's really easy to cover it up. So if you're not loving one of the color choices, um, it's just not working for you or the color's just not setting the way you were hoping to, just let it dry and then you can just go right over top of it with your new color. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I think I'll be much happier with the results of this. If I'm changing it up just to the greens a little bit more of a lime color. And I think it's actually going to dry a little bit nicer. So I'm going to go ahead and, and um, correct that. And then I'm going to take my green and I'm going to go around uh, my ring again underneath the purple. And again, I'm still using that same size tool for all the dots that are around the edge. Um, some of them you might find that you can't get quite into the V. Uh, let's see, I'll show you here. See here, um, kind of when you're coming onto that outer edge curve because it's a bit wider, um, it's not going quite into the V, but it will fall back into the V around the sides. So just go for it. Um, you can use a larger tool to make the dots a bit bigger so that they stay in the V, but I really like the uniform look of all the dots staying the same size. Um, like this one I just find that with this it looks really cool so I'm going to go ahead and change up my green here and go around the edge and then I'll be back okay so I've gone around I'm gonna pick this up carefully here and I've gone around and done my green circles or my green dots so what you want to do now I've also added just a little bit more white into the center I want to have that as um, more of a 3d effect so I've added another layer of the white in there and I really like this green way better than the original green that I had so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this dry because I want to be able to handle this a little bit more and I'm worried that um, if I'm handling it too much at this point my dots are going to get smudged so you can either use a hairdryer or you can just take the time to let it dry and then we will come back and um, carry on with our stone Okay, so my dots are all dry and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just repeat the exact same thing that I've done here. I'm going to start with the pink, yellow, purple and green. I'm going to use the same dotting tool size and I'm going to do the exact same thing until I go get to underneath. So you might not have room to do all four colors but just carry on in the same pattern that you were doing depending on the size of your stone and uh, once you've done that uh, we'll come back and I'll show you how to finish this up. So as you can see, I may have gotten a little carried away here. I've actually gone, uh, I've done the second layer or second set of um, dots in the same pattern. And now I'm also working on the third one. I just uh, couldn't resist the bottom of this and how perfect this stone was for painting on. So I thought, why not do a double-sided stone? So... That is what I'm doing. So this is my third layer I'm working on and I'm just working my way into the middle. I've still got my same tool that I'm using and I'm still carrying on with the exact same pattern and I'm just following it all the way in until I get into um, the center of my stone. Okay, so I have finished up um, this stone for this part. So as you can see, I've gone little bit crazy here but I was really loving the colors um, and the pattern so I decided that this stone needed to be a double-sided stone wasn't in the plan but sometimes actually a lot of times that happens your plan kind of gets askew and uh, you just kind of go with it and go with your creativity and your vision and uh, sometimes that changes along the way so that's what happened here so our next final step is to do the tiny white dots around those um, rings that we just made. So as you can see here, in all of the, in the little spaces here, we have these tiny little white dots. And that's what we're going to do next, is we're going to take our toothpick and we're just gonna make all these tiny little white dots in the middle of our rings um, in the little crevices that you see. So depending on the style that you like, you can kind of go for that more subtle, um, look or you can really go with the vibrant um, beautiful color, Easter colors. So I'll just show you here. 
we're going to take our little toothpick and we're just going to go into all of our little dots including the ring that's the very first one that we did so you're going to go all the way around in that one and then you're also going to go you'll just go stay consistent so if you're doing the top of the pink we're going to do that that top level of the yellow top level of the purple and you're just going to go all the way around doing that exact same thing so here you have it i've finished off all the white little dots and um, you can see in the center of that um, of the bottom i just used a little bit of a bigger tool to create some bigger dots for just that little center piece but the rest are all that one same size and i've just created the same pattern as all the way around and you can see I've got all the tiny little white dots there. So this is our Ukrainian, uh, Ukrainian style Easter stone. So these are really, again, like I said, uh, quite quick and easy to make once you've made a couple of them and you've got the pattern, you can really go for it and make a few of them. They'd be really fun to hide maybe on Easter morning outside somewhere for someone to find. Um, just make sure you protect them well with a resin or varnish finish on it just uh, so that they're weatherproof and dirt proof and garden proof. Um, but yeah, these would be a really fun little addition to the garden um, out at the beach uh, for other people to find. Um, if you're, you're one of those rock groups that uh, paints paint stones and, and sends them out there for people to find. This would be a really great addition to Easter morning hikes and, and all of that kind of stuff. So um, again, easy to make, uh, great little gifts to give away and also um, big sellers at uh, spring markets as well. So just a thought, but um, have fun with it. Play with colors. Uh, the options are endless really for this little stone. Easter colors, uh, traditional Ukrainian colors. Um, again, you can go with that more subtle look that's uh, kind of got a lot of the same similar colors together or you can just go really bold and fun and uh, change up your colors. So you can see this one has a resin finish on it. Uh, this one will get a resin coating as well. It just protects your stones. I do have a video about how to do this if you're interested. Uh, you can check out my channel and, and find the YouTube video about resining your stones as well. So I hope you have a wonderful time creating your Easter, your Easter egg rocks and we'll see you next time.